How many of you have seen the room in here? Yeah! So I want to let you guys know that there is a worse version of the room that does exist. <laughs> To stay up to date with me on everything, make sure you guys follow me on Twitter. It's at JoshWRB and hit that subscribe button and notification bell if you're new because that's the best way to stay up to date with all my videos right when they come out. Today is the day, guys. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> it's JoshWRB here and this is, uh, I don't know, I'm starting to get really dark here. I'm starting to do a lot more vlogs. If you haven't seen, uh, well you probably haven't because you don't even know, I don't really talk about it, but my daughter does have a channel and I have recently uploaded two videos to there. Uh, we went to Disney on Ice and then we went to Polar Express. Uh, so if you guys want to check out those videos, go to Ellie Tot Toys. But this is the vlog where I'm going to a live reading of the room with Greg Stistero, I think that's how you say his name. I suck at people's names, but super excited for that. Let's get going, guys. <laughs> and we're here. I am in the parking lot on my way to meet Ben for a drink before the show, so let's go to Paper Street. I don't know. What does it say? It doesn't? Are you excited, Ben? I'm, I'm actually really Oh my. Oh hi. Sit in front row. The disaster artist book. Whoa, there's some like crazy lighting going on here, man. Look at how cinematic I look right now. <laughs> Let's give these guys a hand. Yeah! So the itinerary for the evening, uh, we're gonna start with a 30 minute documentary that was all about the making of the room and the disaster artist that Greg Sestero made. Um, Greg's gonna come out and chat with us really quickly. We're gonna do a live script reading from the original room script. We've got a couple people from the Kinkanauts who are here and one lucky audience member is gonna get a chance to be part of that too. Thank you so much. <laughs> Oh, hi, guys. <laughs> Thanks for coming out tonight. I'd like to introduce the hero of the night, Greg Sestero, the author of the disaster. Yeah! there is a worse version of the room that does exist. <laughs> I was roommates with Tommy for uh, some time when I kept my sanity, but uh, he would hang upside down from the pull-up bar like a bat when I was trying to sleep. <laughs> we were trying to make it as actors and Tommy decided to take a different path. He was going to create his own film that when people would see it, they wouldn't sleep for two weeks. <laughs> so my, my movie would be big drama, you watch. <laughs> Hollywood is not ready. <laughs> so he disappeared for about nine months, and he came back with a script entitled The Room that was all supposed to take place in one room, um, and Johnny was supposed to kill himself in front of the entire world, <laughs> and it's gonna be this amazing drama. So we're gonna read some scenes from it tonight, and I promise you it's even more amazing than the room itself. So let's get started on that. To be a part of the show. Yeah. Oh, it's 
Yes! Let me fix the pasta. I'll take a shower. Johnny disappears. <laughs> Until the water is running and dials the number on the phone. Hi, Mark. I miss you. I just saw you. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> are you crazy? Sorry, my darling. I just wanted to hear your sexy voice. I can tell you something else. I like to sexy hands around my body. <laughs> you excite me so, and I love you. Is Johnny there? Yeah, he's in the shower, but I like you better. <laughs> I don't understand you. Why do you do that? <laughs> because I love you. Sarcastically. <laughs> you don't care, do you? See you later. Yes, I do care, but we agreed it's over between us. I understand. I'm with you. It's our secret. I still have feelings for you, but I guess you don't care. Yes, I do care. Don't drive yourself crazy. The water stops running. I have to go now. See you later, my darling. Don't call me that. <laughs> <laughs> it's no big deal these days, is it? No, I'm not worried. <laughs> she is preparing dinner and everything on the table. Dinner is ready. They sit down to eat. What happened last night? I don't remember anything. Did we make love? <laughs> you don't remember? You poor little thing. You don't remember when you hit me? <laughs> Johnny is yelling. Hit you? I never would do that, even if I was drunk. <laughs> you must be kidding. It's not true, is it? Do you have a bruise? <laughs> yes, it's true. So you're eating. <laughs> I will never drink again. I feel sick. I can't eat anymore. He is pushing his plate away. I am strong, don't worry about it. I need some money, I have to buy a new dress. <laughs> How much do you want? Around $300. <laughs> Why so much? He pulls out his wallet and hands her three $100 bills. <laughs> Thank you, Johnny. You are always so generous with me. She kisses him on the cheek. I have to be. We will be married soon. <laughs> you love me, yeah. don't you? Of course I do. Lisa gets up, clears the table, and changes her clothes. I'm going to the roof to straighten out my head. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> See <ya. laughs> Oh, hi, Mark. What's happening? <laughs> hi, Peter. Pause. This is a good place to think, huh? Mark pulls a joint out of his pocket and lets it go. You want to put me on the clock? What's that? He points at the joint. He offers the joint to Peter. You want some? He holds up his hands. No, man. You know I don't smoke that stuff. You look depressed. <laughs> Yeah, I got this sick feeling in my stomach. I did something awful and I can't forgive myself. Why don't you tell me about it? Well, I feel like running. Killing myself. <laughs> something crazy like that. Why are you smoking this crap? No wonder you can't think straight. That stuff will mess with your brain. <laughs> Hey man, it's none of your business. Why are you so nosy? You think you know everything. You don't know shit. <laughs> Just a minute. Who do you think you 
are. You're acting like a kid. Grow up. Throws the joint to the floor and smashes it out with his shoe. He is yelling. Who are you calling a kid? Fuck you. Grabs him by the arm. They stand together. Cool it, cool it, Mark. I'm just trying to help you. I know you're having an affair with Lisa. Am I wrong? He jerks his, what, his arm away from Peter's grip and hits him in the face with his fist and knocks him down. <laughs> Peter's unconscious. <laughs> Mark stares at him. Wake up, man. Wake up. <laughs> He's a bucket of water. Grabs it and pours it on Peter. <laughs> Peter shakes his head and slowly wakes up. Then he sits up. What are you doing? Are you crazy? <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. You're my best friend. <laughs> are you okay? I'm alive. Don't worry about it. Let's talk about your problem. <laughs> Why do you want to know my secret? Well, you're right, it's Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do, I'm so depressed. <laughs> I think I'll kill myself. <laughs> Johnny is my best friend. <laughs> How did this happen? If Johnny finds out, that will be the end of your friendship. What were you thinking? Look, life is very complex. But you have to face it. You have to be responsible. My advice to you is that you should stop thinking about her and never do sex with her. <laughs> Find another girl. That's my advice. Lisa's a sociopath. She cares only about herself and she's incapable of loving anyone. Oh, whatever, Peter. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Um, okay, we need a Michelle. <laughs> okay, we have one. We do a Michelle? Michelle? Yeah. All right, yeah. let's do it. <laughs> it's me, Michelle. <laughs> Come on up. Lisa kisses Mark. The doorbell rings, Lisa opens it, and Michelle comes in carrying a grocery sack. How are you doing? Hi, I'm fine. I brought the stuff. <laughs> I knew I could count on you. Hi, Mark. X, Y, Z. What are you talking about? <laughs> Examine your zipper. <laughs> Mark currently zips up. You guys are too much. Michelle to Lisa. What can I do to help you? I have to go now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he brought some tea out. What about his zipper? Did something happen? He tried to rape me. <laughs> but I didn't let him. Did you tell Johnny yet? No, they're good friends. I know. Tricky, tricky. <laughs> you know, I really loved Johnny at first. Really? I thought you love him now. Until now, I did think I still love him. Everything has changed. I need more from life than Johnny can give me. Suddenly my eyes are wide open and I see the light. I want it all. Do you think you can get it all from Mark? I want to play the field. If he doesn't give me what I want, somebody else will. I don't think I know you anymore. Michelle is laughing. Pause. <laughs> you are being manipulative, Lisa. So what? You can learn from me. Lisa is laughing. <laughs> you have to take as much as you can. You have to live 
Live, live, my friend. Don't worry, I have everything covered. Tell me more. Maybe I can understand your point of view. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. Let put this stuff in bowls. <laughs> Only have an hour before people will be coming. Lisa and Michelle start working on party preparation while they're talking. Angrily. I want to know. It's important to me. You are my best friend. This really upsets me. I don't know what the big mystery is. Doesn't everybody look out for number one? Don't I deserve the best? I can't do that. <laughs> you are too much for me, Lisa. You are not much of an. You are not such an angel yourself. We're not talking about me. Michelle throws chimney tomato at Lisa. <laughs> Lisa throws a prawn at Michelle. <laughs> Stop it! They'll be here any minute. Are you trying to ruin my party? I'm with you. Let's talk later. Looks to me like we're ready. Scene. Scene. <laughs> All right, guys, I did, did I keep my promise? <laughs> I wish Tommy didn't change the line of that script, man, this thing's incredible. Um, all right, so what you guys are about to watch, uh, I never thought I would work with Tommy again after making The Room, for various reasons. Uh, I finally hit the home run making The Room, as you guys would probably agree, and I figured I should probably quit while I'm behind. But 15 years later, um, I got a chance to see a rough cut of The Disaster Artist, which is really phenomenal. James Franco does an amazing job playing Tommy, and I saw something at the end of the movie that made me think, you know what, all Tommy's ever wanted is to be taken seriously as an actor, and nobody's given him that chance. He gave himself that chance, but he cast himself as like a leading man, Fabio type. <laughs> Didn't really work. So I figure it would be great to give Tommy a chance in a film that would give him, allow him to succeed, to a uh, role that would fit him. And um, so I put together a production and gave Tommy a chance to succeed in the film. And you guys are about to watch it. One of the very first few audiences to see it. Um, just prepare yourself, it's a little bizarre. Uh, I'll see you guys after, and thanks again for coming. Yeah! Yeah, it's now one in the morning. That went a lot later than I thought it was going to. I just got to my car. I'm gonna review this movie for you guys uh, probably tomorrow. Um, I thought The Disaster Artist came out to today, I guess it would be, um, but it doesn't come out until next week uh, across Canada. I guess it's only out in Toronto this weekend. So I will be reviewing that for you guys next week, I guess. I thought it was gonna be this week. I, I still might have a chance to get screener passes to see it a little earlier, but I can't wait to see it. I did pick up this poster, the Disaster Artist poster, and the Disaster Artist book. I wanted to get it signed, but then uh, there was like a huge mob before the movie. I don't know, I didn't really film too much uh, in between stuff, but you kind of get the gist of uh, how my night went. But uh, yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to click this video you see on the screen. You might actually like it. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Have a nice day, guys. <laughs>